Good morning, guys. So today is um, today is a productive day. Um, today, well, as you can tell by what's in the title, today I'm getting my braces put on. Um, if you've seen my previous video uh, with me starting Smile Direct first, if you haven't already, go ahead and check that video out with me getting a full refund from them. Easy peasy. Go on over and check that video out and you'll see why um, why I decided not to stick with Smile Direct and why I'm going to go ahead and just go the traditional braces route. Um, so yeah, this is my teeth. I am Team Gap. Um, I do have a little bit of protrusion, you know, your teeth kind of poke out a little bit. Um, for 2021, I did tell myself, I was like, you know... At this point, like my kids are situated, everything's going good. Um, this year, it's 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 going to be about me. And two things that I told myself this year that I didn't like was my weight. I didn't like what what my current weight was after I had my baby, and my teeth. So these are two things that I'm going to work on this year to correct. I feel like if you don't like something about yourself and you have the money or the means, fix it fix it because nobody has to live inside of your body but you and if you don't like it you have to wake up in the morning every day and you don't like what you see by all means fix it and that is my motto this year so this year i'm going to fix my teeth and yes my teeth is not bad it's not bad at all but i know that i have this gap that has bothered me since i was a child i want to get rid of it and then my weight like I mean, I'm not severely obese or anything like that. The sweater the sweater is making me actually look bigger than what I am. But my goal is to lose 25 pounds. So I've signed up for Weight Watchers. And so far in one week, I have lost six pounds. So I am trying to aim for my goal and stick with it and make it a lifestyle change. Um, yesterday, I went and I had um, a deep cleaning done, a rooting, a rooting and scaling I believe that's what it's called um, of my teeth so my gums is a little bit sore but I had that done yesterday um, and I call actually called orthodontist yesterday to pay my um to pay my down payment and to schedule my appointment I was thinking that they were gonna schedule my appointment like maybe a week or two out so I'm like okay you know it'll give me some time to let my gums heal and just you know recoup research and do all of this I was on the phone and she was like, uh, can you come tomorrow? I'm like, okay, I'll be there tomorrow. But I'm a bit nervous. She did tell me to eat a big breakfast. So I did have um, two eggs with spinach in it um, on some wheat, wheat toast, some keto wheat toast. And that was pretty filling. I'm not really a morning eater, but I did go ahead and eat because she advised me to. But yeah, guys, I'm currently sitting outside of the... Um, outside of the doctor's office um going through my work emails just kind of trying to trim down a little bit because i know i'll be in there for about an hour hour and a half and yeah so i'm nervous i've watched a lot of youtubers um there's this one girl in uh, in particular i forgot her channel name but she's team gap and her gap has closed so beautifully like she's gorgeous with the gap but honey those that gap is closed she is everything now i'm not sure if y'all have seen her but i will um insert her channel name into this video but yes y'all about to go in here i'm nervous um the tooth pain was an issue for me with smile direct i don't know if it's any different than that um, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, teeth sensitivity and, you know, once you put the aligners on, the pressure was like ridiculous, but I was able to get through it with just Motrin and it, it was okay. So I'm hoping it's the same as that, if not less, um, less sensitivity and less pressure, but we'll see. I am going to track my entire journey, guys. So please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. There's not too many videos of like, too many raw videos of um, like braces and gaps and you know, all of that. It's not too many raw videos. So um, definitely gonna keep you guys in the loop. So 
I will be back after I get out of my appointment. I will try my best to see if they will let me vlog inside of there. Um, I'm not sure. This is my first time here. I kind of have to catch the vibe. I will try to get a couple of clips for you guys, but yeah, we'll see. So fingers crossed on that. I will be back, okay? Bye. Okay guys, so I just went and I had all my scans and my x-rays done. Um, it was really quick, uh, maybe lasted about 15 minutes. I'm in the um, in the little waiting area, waiting to be put in the chair to get them on. Y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna give y'all another bush before I shot of my teeth. So, definitely team gal. Definitely have some protrusion. Y'all listen, I look so childish. Like WTO. <laughs> oh my God. This I don't what was I thinking? Look. Y'all, I look crazy. Um I tried to vlog the best that I could. Um but it was moving so fast. The doctor, the doctor was the one that put on my brackets, and she was like, she was going, and it was um, it was three people helping, so I had two on each side and one kind of standing over me, so I didn't have any room to really bring out my camera and, you know, put it up to uh, record the whole thing. So I was only able to record once she put the brackets on, and then the assistant or the hygienist was the one to um use the light and cure them and everything like that but i have them on i have to come back in eight weeks to get them retightened um yeah as far as like pressure it's there i feel it um it's not as bad as smell the red club putting on my first trays but i can definitely tell that with, with like within tonight or tomorrow there's definitely going to be some discomfort um yeah she's i didn't need the spacers in the back that i've i watched several videos and uh, quite a few people had the spacers but i did not need that um she did say that i of course i have the gap i have a slight over jet and a slight over bite so i will be required to wear the rubber bands um i didn't get any colors this time i swear when you put braces on your teeth you can really see the imperfections I did not, um, I didn't get the rubber bands, the colored rubber bands this time. Um, they don't do it on the first visit because they kind of, you know, they're basically trying to align everything and get your teeth repaired and they feel like the rubber bands will cause so much tension and that's not what they're going for 
on this visit so um next in eight weeks i can get color but i feel like i'm too grown for all the colors so i would probably stick with clear or silver <laughs> i don't see myself playing with the fun colors shouts out to anyone who does it's cute but i don't think it'd be cute on me but um yeah guys this is it um bring you guys closer but this is it um I will um, come back tonight or tomorrow and just give you guys an update for the next couple of days, letting you know um, how it's going and if I'm able to tolerate everything. But guys, I feel like I have like, <laughs> like two sets of teeth on top of my teeth. It's so hard to pull these big old whips over this bracket i'm like but i mean it's okay it's not as bad as smile direct when you first pop that first set of trays in whoever has had invisalign smile direct bite candy y'all know what i'm talking about when you put that first aligner on it's like yo t let's listen it hurts um but this is okay i feel like with, with some tylenol or motrin i'll be fine um, I, i'm expecting them to be sensitive so Yes, so I will be back with you guys later. Today's actually my husband's birthday, and we were supposed to do hibachi, but I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out, and I will be back with an update. Hey, guys. So I am back for day two. Um, Well, back to give an update for day two. Um, Well, today... um. I had to, I am here at the orthodontist. I have to come in and get the wire cut on this bottom side. I don't know if y'all can see it on it. Right here. This thing is stabbing me so bad. When I checked before I left yesterday, I didn't feel anything poking me. But as the day went on, it is like eating up the inside of my cheek. Last night when we came home from dinner, I put some wax on it. The wax was okay, but then it started to poke through the wax. So I'm like, uh, I can't go eight weeks dealing with this. So I might as well come in and um get it cut. I like next time, like I gotta check to make sure because this dentist's office is almost 30 minutes away from me, and it's just like like it's it's such an inconvenience. But other than that, everything's okay. Um, we went out to eat last night. We had Mexican. I had like a Texas fajita. It comes with uh, grilled chicken, grilled shrimp, grilled chicken, grilled shrimp, and grilled steak. And um, I didn't eat any tortilla shells or anything like that, so I just ate the fajita uh, meat and um, bell peppers and onions. And it was okay. I mean, one thing that I did not like is that when you're eating, the food gets stuck in your brackets back here. And it's like it piles up and piles up like mounds of food. And it's disgusting. Like, I was like sitting there like picking it out with my hands because it just felt so disgusting. And you, my, my cheeks felt like, my cheeks felt like it was just full of, um, full of food. I need to find my, oh recording on my phone I'm like i need to find my phone but i forgot i'm recording on it just in case they call me to come in but yes guys the food was trapped i couldn't wait to get home and brush my teeth because i just felt like it was just so disgusting and when i brushed my teeth a lot of food did fall out and i have a water pick so i was able to get in and get in those brackets and get it out but um it wasn't so bad as far as pain today um it's not terrible my teeth are sensitive but it's not like I'm gonna hunch over and cry in pain. Um, with smile, like with smile direct, the pain was like at a, I'll say an eight, an eight to a ten, and then you have to take them off, eat, brush your teeth, pop them back on. That's what hurt the worst is when you have to pop them back on. And when you eat, your teeth feel like they're gonna fall out. But with the braces, I can say my 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 discomfort level is about a four. It's about a three or four. Nowhere near a smile direct. Um, no pain at all. Just a little sensitivity. I feel like this wire is bothering me more than anything. Like, 
I mean the these the brackets they're they're rubbing a little bit against the inside of my mouth but it's not terrible it just feels like it's there and it's scratching but it's not enough to break skin but this wire has tore it up in there honey so hopefully she can cut this down fold it tuck it do whatever she needs to do because this this is not gonna work but other than that my pain has been okay i haven't really had any pain just sensitivity like you go like this it's it's sensitive but it's not so sensitive that you can't do that and like i like i have the most sensitivity after i brush my teeth but other than that it's okay but here it is i still feel like i look really crazy with them my kids love them um i feel like i look crazy i'm still kind of embarrassed i still kind of you know do this when i'm talking but i mean it's gonna it's going to be an adjustment it's something new um but yeah i think this is all for the updates for this video i'll come back after she cuts my wires to let you know how that went but i'll come back in eight weeks with uh i guess that's retightening too uh, with my first retightening and um, vlog that experience and let you okay guys so I was in and out in less than five minutes she cut this thing y'all it feels a million times better a million times better like it's nothing okay so I just wanted to give y'all an update on that um, stay tuned for my update at eight weeks when I come back and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video and be blessed.